Hey guys and welcome to the Akinon's YouTube channel. Let's learn how to send a request in Flask. So let's get started. First things first, I have created a simple Flask app inside a file called app.py and basically I'm importing the Flask library. From that I'm importing the Flask, Flask class and the requests library. Now I create an app using the Flask class and now I'm creating a route of slash result where I'm providing two po methods of post and get and get is always default. So even if I do not add it, it will be default there. So let me keep a method of post because I'm going to post data and we'll see how to post it. So basically in this video, we will see how to post data using the JSON. That's the most common method observed. So here inside my this result function, there's absolutely no code present. So let's start coding this part. So first things first is we need to return the output that is generated by the JSON request. So let me create a variable called output and here we are going to use the request library and I'm going to use the method called get underscore JSON. This basically returns the JSON from any data sent to us by the request method. Now I'll create two variables called as num1 and basically what we'll be doing in this code is try to create a calculator based app that can obtain data from a JSON request and perform certain calculations on it. So here we go. Now basically I'm going to create an integer version of the output and let's create a key called num1 and I'll show you later what we'll be doing with these keys and here I'll create an integer version of the output of the key that's num2. So you may be thinking where does this num1 and num2 come? Do not need to worry about it. For now, you can just code along with me. I'll show you later what's actually happening. And here I'll create a calc variable and I'll store it in the form of a dictionary. And now let's create methods calc. And inside this, I'm going to add a key of addition. And basically I'm going to return the addition value of the both numbers, num1 plus num2. And now I'm going to simply do the same thing for division, subtraction and multiplication. Basically, I'm creating a basic calculator function over here. So this will be subtraction. Okay, so now I've recorded everything and now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to return the calc that is the dictionary and let me delete this pass keyword. And again, I'm just creating the if main name is equal to main method and then I'm simply running the app using the debug method. So let me save this file and now let, on, let me head on to the main.py file that's present inside the same folder. And here what I'm doing is I'm simply creating request and I'm importing the library and here I'm using the local host 5000 slash result. So basically here is where the port in which my data is going to be obtained and here I'm going to post data using the two keys as you can see here are my keys num1 and num2 so let's change these values from 20 and 30 to 20 and 10 so we understand exactly what's happening and then in the end i'm basically printing the data because what i'm doing is i am real returning data the calc dictionary so basically when i print this i should get a data return so let's see if that works so first things first let me open the folder and go into my command prompt to run this file since I cannot run it right now over here or I can do it. So what I'll do is first thing first, let me run the app.py file inside the command prompt. So let me open my CMD app.py and here will be my flash server running. As you can see, here is my flash server running right now. And now let me close this and now let's run this app over here. And as you can see, we get the output that does the data return. That is the addition, subtraction, division and multiplication of the two integers that's num1 and num2. So isn't this really simple? Basically what we do is we create a simple flask cap and within that we create a route of our own and then we perform operations and return that data. And this is performed using the JSON data method. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the Akinon's YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos.